Okay, I got it. You lose a life, you gain a life. Speaking of this, did I say you lose a game? I meant to say you gain a life, you lose a life. Like so. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs>
I feel is emanating from Pan's sanity peak. Quickly, we must go. <laughs> Crash. Crash. Hey, girls. <laughs> Okay, we're playing as Crash Bandicoot right now. Give me, let me play the game. Thank you. I just uh, broke my fucking guitar and shit. I love the way how he set up his little uh, uh, living environment. Like, he just lived literally nearby the ocean beach and shit. It's pretty cool. Plus, it's like a little Sparrow Dragon reference right there. I like that. He got a little uh, drink bar over there. He's got a little fridge. And uh, on top of that, check this out. It has a little cameo little, uh, uh, friend over there for Crash Bandicoot. One, two, three, and... One more. Crash Bandicoot 4. They're not going to be talking about the other previous Crash Bandicoot games, as far as I'm aware of. And also, I get to wear my little sombrero. So let's play this with the rest of the gameplay. Oh. <laughs> and I did miss one of my boxes one time, though. Like, I will try to collect as many boxes as I can as I go forward, but there is going to be some parts I'm going to be ignoring because I can't get all of it at the same time for some reason. That, I believe that was the box I missed one time when I was playing it one time. It's like, there's like a huge reference to this gameplay. It's fucking cool. The reference for the first Crash Bandicoot game. If you guys haven't seen my Crash Bandicoot game from the classic and the uh, PC version of it, the link in the description down below. And also, I like that the way it had that uh, little circle uh, hub down below your feet like a shadow. Quickly, we must go. Yeah, I know, I know. And on top of that, it's like, um... Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. Fuck. I always keep forgetting I was gonna say something very important. This blow out you. Thank you. Okay, you just jump right inside the little box right there. Aku uh, shield uh, shields you from. You know what? Fuck, I'm just gonna keep going. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing this game as retro mode as normally you would because like it's no fun for me if I would be playing as a uh, modern mode because like you can die as many times as you want, but I want to play it in retro because like it gives me a challenge. I just love that animation that Crash looks all like all fucking scared and shit. He faced many danger in the past and says he should be more called courageous and all that shit. And uh, here's the thing though, if you don't die up to oh, more than three times and shit, you'd be able to get a gem. Collecting all the boxes, you get the gem. You collecting uh, all all kinds of rubber food enough for you to get the uh, three gems. There's a, there's a lot of stuff you can do for this game, but I really don't know what purpose it is for collecting gems in this game entirely. Cause like it could be like a true ending route, or it could just be like a uh, co completionist thing. And you just get all these boxes and shit. Cause I fucked up last time when I was playing it. So like. It could be just like that uh, uh, completion moment, like saying you got all the fucking uh, gems and shit, but it has, uh, it's just like uh, bragging right. That's all I want to say. Also, I don't even know who you guys are. Like, I've never seen you before in a previous Crash Bandicoot game. Get out of here. And also, those hidden gems you gotta find throughout the whole stage and shit. There's only one each. By the way, if you come across here and jump up, this is how you get the gem. I fucked it up last time. At least I'm gonna try to make a redemption myself. Oh, for what I did last time. I never seen you guys before. Are you a spiritual tribe that protects a mask or something? I don't know what the fuck's going on here. At least I got another gem. Again, if I end up missing all, all some of the boxes along the way and shit, then I ain't gonna worry about it too much. I will try my best to get all the boxes and shit. I mean, yeah, all the gems for the, all the boxes. Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I like the reference as tunnel over there, and the little, all, all the all pillow cushion for our cover. I really do like that design right there. And this whole scenario, when you go uh, get closer to the area, oh, you do get all of it. Anyway, <laughs> you do get invincibility in this game. That's good to know. Oh, you just like I say, I fucked up. That's what I get for not uh, watching my step. Fuck. I really do love all oh, the way how the game looks, so it's really cool. 
I fucked up. I that was my first death in this gameplay for that uh, first start of the game. So everything looks all a bit hectic over there. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna I'll go after that damn thing. If that thing's gonna fall over, then just go after the fucking box. Okay, that that platform's gonna uh, last any longer. Plus, this is like a reference of the uh, Stormy Ascent and shit. It is like a um, you know, like the Crash Bandicoot One game. It's basically a reference with all the platforms you had to jump on the uh, building like structure and shit. That's pretty cool. Oh fuck. Get out of here. I just love the way how Crash uh, crashed into things and then all of a sudden you can ricochet more enemies along the way and shit, more than one. That's actually pretty cool how they did that. So I'm guessing if you end up getting the uh, no death route entirely and shit, you just get a bragging right uh, achievement, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Crash over here showing off with his fucking camera. Excellent gem collect and scans and blah blah blah. I already locked in time trial mode and look at Mother Clucker. That's actually pretty funny how they came up with a crazy name like that. That's actually funny. Anyway, let's just move on forward. Okay, when I first started this uh, gaming on this game, then I fucked up a lot. I was like saying, what the fuck am I doing? And shit, and I was like, what the fuck am I doing afterwards? So, the only part I got to is I defeated Engine, and I stopped after that. So, I didn't want to play any further after this. It's okay, Crash but, uh, Bandicoot, we got you covered. I'll try to keep you alive as best I could. Okay, in Retro Mode, oh, you get to collect all the lives you can gather, but you gotta try to keep it as best as you can. Because, <laughs> like, in Modern Mode, it's pretty much the same thing, but, it, like, you don't collect the lives and shit. Uh, you just... Collect as many Wampa Fruits as you can as you go up. Okay, so I'm gonna just try to move on forward and try not to die like an idiot again. Hey, what's up, buddy? Fuck you. Up we go. And now I'm like wondering what the fuck is that for? By the way, try not to run into this, by the way. Okay, this is gonna make you dizzy. It's good to uh, have a little heads up on mo moment for what the hell this game's gonna teach you, so just. Just be aware of what you uh, get yourself into. The big guys want for food uh, calls up to 10 or 30, if I call. That takes care of that. Oh, okay. I didn't even read that last time. I guess I say spin while standing still because every time I have uh, spinning right next to it, I, was, I always keep moving forward and try to go into that little spin animation. I was like saying, I'm fucking stupid. So just stand still and just try to uh, spin into that spot um, below, then you don't have to worry about that kind of shit. Here's another thing though, if you uh, slide and uh, press spin at the same time, you do a uh, spin uh, spin attack on uh, your legs, and not just uh, from up above ground. So that's actually a pretty cool uh, reference right there. Okay, so I gotta be very careful as I move up forward. So we gotta get near to the area that uh, everything faces out, so try to uh, slide around here and just move on forward. I don't know what the fuck you guys are. Can you at least, uh, can the game explain to me who these tribes are exactly? The Guardians or something? I don't fucking know. Uh, this is my second time playing this game. Like, not completely. I only played the first part of the game. And then later on, when it comes to the, uh, after me defeating Engine, then I'll be coming around all blind and shit. Three, four, five. He's giving me all this fucking lies and one for fruit, please. That's all I want. Okay. Give me out here. Okay. At least I got that one this time, because I kept dying around here like an idiot, and I was not even paying attention for what I needed to do. I got me a gem on that one. And I got me. I was so close to getting the next gem on this one. Okay, so, again, if there are some parts I can't even gather uh, along the way, like, if I had to get a special ability for this game, I'll wait until I play the game off screen and just try to go after them the second time. Because, like, I have a feeling that I'm going to need to worry about all uh, this new special moves and uh, special ability in the end of it. Okay. 
gotta time it just right when I'm around this area. Okay, very close. Whoa! Wait, wait for, wait for it. Oh! Ah! My first death again. Shit. It's a little uh, tricky though. I, I'm not, I'm not doing it. You have to get the mass in order to use their ability. Okay, here we go. Keep going. Wait for it. Go. Okay, I got all those boxes around the areas nearby. Wakey, wakey! You just triggered a trap, Crash! Well, he's got a reason why the mask fell down, because he just fucking grabbed his ass. And I was one of those making all that noise, I was like, oh, that's fuck. Uh, Crash, you might want to run away if you want to live. Live! Run! Don't let that rave get you! Is that a hidden gem? Run! Oh! No! 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 Oh! <laughs> Damn it! I accidentally hit the fucking slam by accident! Keep running, Crash! Run if you want to live! Keep running! That motherfucker doesn't hold up! Just keep running! The chase secrets in this game is actually fucking awesome though, to be honest. Oh! Okay, he just grabbed Andre on his own, that's actually cool. Cause I usually try to jump off of my own life and shit. Keep running! Run! Yeah, the chase secrets in this game is fucking uh, amazing to look at. Fuck that! He get the box for me. Okay, I got the gem. Cool. All right here. You did it, Crash. You survived that one. I got all the gems for this one. Bitcoin energy. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. Let's just get out of here. We're gonna jump. We gotta jump. Yes way! Good thing you land on your face. Are you okay? to be a door between dimensions. Yes, yes, the kind we keep shut. We have to go through, find my siblings, and fix this before some putz with a big evil plan and a bigger ego does something monumentally stupid. Uh-huh. Yeah, speaking of stupid. <laughs> unknowingly paved the way for our bright future. Once my rift generator is complete, over all of time and space will be within our grasp. Engine embryo, you had some little. I love the animation of these two, too. Master, my skin could marvel to hypnotize you and I. Then my potion will make me and them unstoppable. Right, yeah, fine, sure. Have fun with your ray guns or whatever. <laughs> Hasten your steps. By my calculations, our enemies are already moving against us, and we will prevail. I'm not sure how long this game is going to be, but I'm going to try to beat this game as fast as I can. You're like, oh, if there will be some circumstances I won't be able to get through it easily, so I may have to do that part off screen. 
But in, in, in the end of it, I, I want to have fun with this game with you guys, so I want to uh, make it a fresh start and just have a positive attitude about this one. So this is like a, a same state select you play at Crash Bandicoot 1, I like that. Dimensional map, welcome to the dimensional map. Here you can select levels to play. Switch between Crash and Coco, change sound skin, and replay levels that are on a time trial. Excellent. And here we got a little bit of map we got to. This is the part where I got to and ended the episode there last time. Alright, let's just uh, get, uh, jump across this little area. I'm going to be playing as Crash more. And Shannon, let's see what we got. Mother clucker. Digital download. Unlocked. Unlocked. Okay, totally tubular. Monster Plus uh, Erectus. And uh, serious, serious upgrade. So I'm going to try to play with uh, Mother clucker. It's actually pretty funny the more you think about it. He's nothing but a giant chicken. <laughs> Okay, let's see how well I'm gonna do in this game. The sound effect you hear there as well is very familiar to one at Crash Bandicoot 1. It's very cool how they did that. A real grind. I keep fucking up last time when I was playing this um, all the, the, uh, when I first played it last time, and then I just like say, I wanna try to get better at this game. Okay, because I'm pretty sure the other YouTuber who's streaming it as well, on either on Twitch or on YouTube, they all had the same problems I did. They were playing a lot longer than I have, so. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty much the same similarity for what we're going through. Yeah, he's a giant chicken, all right. We need the other masks to close the rifts. Correct. Now my brother Ricano is around here somewhere. Welcome to the show. Behold the aforementioned putts. Don't yep. worry. We have a thing where we fight. He loses. It's a well-established dynamic. Not this time. Backstage class for you to get up close and personal with my weapon of mass percussion. I'm ready to rock. He's actually pretty. He's actually pretty cool though. How they did all this shit. So basically, I'll uh, meet uh, Lonnie Lolo on uh, Lonnie uh, Lonnie Lolly. Lonnie Lolly is basically has the ability to allow me to face with a dimension like you seen earlier. Just press the R2 or the triangle button to face wall like this. So I like that. But be very careful though, this, uh, it's a little finicky to do that as well, because every time you fuck up, you gotta, uh, make a uh, mistake, you gotta fix your mistake for this one. It's all about good timing. That's gotta be annoying to be go through all that shit, it's like, phasing in and out like this. You can also attack that to get an achievement, by the way. Oh, I fucking suck! <laughs> okay, let's try it again. I want to press the um, R2 button instead of just worrying about pressing triangle because that might accidentally get me killed by, by doing that. Okay, we're good. Okay, I gotta be very careful as to get across this area. It's a little finicky how they all set it up like this. I mean, it provides a good challenge and shit, but I may fuck up here and there. I mean, on the next episode, I believe I'll be playing as Coco Bandicoot and stuff. By the way, if you face in reality like this, it doesn't hurt you. Now let's. Why didn't I fucking, oh, uh, has, um, why didn't I even fucking, wait, that was fucking stupid. I gotta watch out for the sand sharks. Alright, just go. Guys are crazy, uh, explode on touch. Yeah, they really do. No! I just gained an extra life and I lost one. Fuck. I'm gonna wait for the sand shark to get through. Okay. It's always good to wait just in case anything happens, because I keep fucking up like that. I never see a death animation for him get eaten on this uh, shark thing. I'm just gonna wait. Okay, keep going. 
Okay, just keep going. Ah! Oh! I almost fucked it up. I did that multiple times in the past. Okay, I'm gonna wait till the uh, crate comes back up, and then I'll be good. Okay, scratch that. I won't be good. Okay. Like, again, if you want to get the gem for uh, no uh, for the death thing, just try to die either th uh, three or less, and that's how you get the gem. Cause I didn't know that at first when I was playing. Cause like the thing is, when I was playing the demo yesterday, it's like I was trying to figure out what that hidden gem was all about. And I was, like, I like I tried no death in uh, route, and I didn't die at once. And then all of a sudden, I didn't get the gym afterwards. Like, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. That was close. Okay, maybe I should have done that in the first place. That was fucking stupid of me. Okay, let's move on forward. Too bad I can't reset the life count and shit. But oh well. Get out of here, mother clucker. Stupid brain is stupid. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, the stupid brain kicked your ass multiple times, Engine. So you're the stupider one. You can also press the X button to jump back up instead of the first in circle. You can't do a double jump while you try to do your grinding and shit, so you can't do that. I died it more. I can count. I I tried it multiple times. I can't even do it. Okay, be mindful to jump on the one question mark uh, b uh crate because there's one box above you, and do a double jump for that one. Cause I uh fucked it up multiple times while I was playing it. Okay, let me just get this one and boom. Time to go boom boom. Not from the down below the trouser. Okay, hit the crate that fills the outline. Yeah, I already know that. If you're a fan of the Crash Bandicoot series, then you know exactly what to do. Okay. I did try to uh, look for the PC version for, the, uh, for this game, but apparently they never made a PC version at all. I'll worry about that next time in the future. I'll just play what I can. Appreciate what you have, folks. Oh, I fucked up. I won't begin the box for that one, but it's okay. Okay. I'm not gonna do a slam and toggle for that TNT crate. That's gonna get, get me killed. Okay, I wanna play smarter and better this time, so I gotta be very careful how I do this. I'm gonna try to change Costa for Crash uh, and Coco multiple times when I get a chance. Okay, we're good. We're good. Wait for it. Jump over. No! Kill me. I always fuck this shit up. If I die one more time, I'm gonna have to uh, get back to this ball. One part, I'll screen. Okay, I gotta be very careful. That's kinda hurt like a bitch to do a body something like that. That's pretty obvious. He just takes it like a champ. Oh, baby, no! I don't wanna fall down on death like that. It's a good damn little ring around underneath me, uh, shows off where I'm at and shit. That would suck. I gotta be very careful how I get around places. Stay down. And then follow the Wumpa Fruits. Follow the Fruits! It'll be your guide! Oh, you're just gonna fall down your collision like an idiot. I died that more than once. Also, what's following this guy? Buddy? You okay? 
Okay, I'll just leave it be for a bit. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Wait for it. Apparently when you face through all of reality and shit, it doesn't affect one on the other on oh, face reality. So you gotta be very mindful how you do all this platforming. This is gonna be a little finicky. There we are. Two, three, four, five. I'm not gonna be chancing that for going after that fucking crate that's uh, below me that that's phased out of reality like that. Cause that I, I, that's gonna give you killed a lot actually. So I'm gonna just try to play smart and just I'll go after it normally. Someone's got one more gem for that one. Oh, shut up. Oh, I was wondering how you get up to that one spot. Okay, this is a uh, box out of far out of the other side. So I was trying to figure out how to get to that one box one time when I was playing it, but I wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to try to jump onto the left side and try to get to this area and get to this platforming. Get out of here. That was stupid of me not looking around places and not being open minded from where I need to go to. So remember, keep an open mind to get to one place to another so you can actually uh, get to your uh, platforming. Are you fucking kidding? I spun you before you got me! At least I got the fucking uh, gem. Okay, we're good. Come on, you mother clucker. That's actually pretty funny though. I need to start using that in the future. <laughs> like if I'm gonna get pissed out of the game and shit, I'm just gonna say, you mother clucker. I mean it's kid friendly just by saying it. Pretty sure a lot of you don't forget the joke. Alright, now we can just move on forward. Yeah, I don't wanna be doing that kind of shit when it comes to me doing a platform like that. That's gonna get me killed in the future. Come on. Okay, go. Oh. Okay, I'm doing a lot better than the last time I was playing this. The first time I played, I was like getting really pissed off with the stage. Okay. You want to jump up on this box because it's a gem above me. There we are. Get out of here. I just want to make a uh, safe route all along the way. Are you fucking serious? I thought I got all of them. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I can worry about getting all of them right now. If I if I get them, I'll get them. If I don't, then I'm just gonna keep moving forward for now. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna keep moving, crash. You mother clucker. Okay. For the next cost, I'm gonna wear as crash. Um. <clears throat> let's see here. What should I wear for this one, next one? I'll see what I can find in the list for now. The one that's available to me, I'm just gonna wear the cost just for fun. It goes in, Jen. Going to his little destination right there. Right next to that one evil looking mess. I don't know what the fuck that mask is. I would have got that one if I had I'd gotten all the gems like that. I'm guessing if you get all the gems and shit, it's just like a lock and cost them, so maybe it could be just that. Um. I don't want to wear this one yet, or all oh, this one, because it doesn't fit the theme personally. So I'm gonna just go along with this one. Cause like for the boss fight along the way, it's gonna be like a, a heavy metal all theme. So I'm gonna go around this area and just be done with this one. Crash compactor. It's also like the flash tape. Uh, you'll see later on once we get to this game. As soon as this game loads up, it's gonna be right in front of us. Oh, no, 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 not, it's not flash tape, it's a flashback tape, that's what I'm about to say. There you are, there's a flashback tape right there. 
Yeah, I know it's hot. It's scorching hot, Crash. I just gotta figure out where the other uh, boxes are located, so I can actually get all the gems and shit. Again, it's like if there's if it serves no purpose for completion, then I ain't gonna worry about collecting all the boxes and just, just be done with it uh, entirely. But if it does have a secret ending in this game, I will be going after those boxes off screen and shit, and try to get as many uh, gems as possible. For for now, if I end up missing a few boxes along the way and shit, and just keep going forward, I'm just gonna keep moving forward. Cause like it's only fair for all of us to do that. Get out of here, asshole. All right, just get this out the way. Fuck you. At least I got him with that. There's also boxes over here as well. I'm gonna try to double check and make sure all oh, there's no boxes over there that I gotten. I'm gonna try to go for the boxes, not the TNT, because like I did that one time and I fucked it up. Is there anything down below? Uh, nope, just a regular TNT or just a regular crate. So go for the regular boxes instead, and then ignore. I uh, hit the TNT uh, crate last, though, as best as you can, because like. Destroying those boxes won't give you a jam. Ooh, I got extra 19 lives. I would've got a lot more if I hadn't died a couple times. I believe this is a reference right there that you see Cortex been uh, winded together from the previous Crash Bandicoot game. I believe, like, Crash Bandicoot... It's called Crash Bandicoot... I believe it's called, uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, Tiny Adventure that Crash comes across a uh, Cortex where he's, um... Uh, uh, fused with all the enemies in the past and shit. I don't think I'm gonna get the uh, box for this one because you need a gem route in order to get that out the way. I don't know where to find that uh, color gem for that one, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna show itself along the way in the future. So I ain't gonna worry about it too much. Okay. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, I fucked up. That means I gotta do this part again. Okay, I got it. You lose a life, you gain a life. Speaking of this, did I say you lose a game one? I meant to say you gain a life, you lose a life. Like so. <laughs> Damn it! Alright. Oh, fuck. Did I kill him? I just spun him. Alright, let me try this again. I got up there with a double jump. Come on, I did it! Fuck. If I die one more time, I'm gonna just have to keep moving forward. Because that was supposed to be the hidden gem over there. There we are. Gotta do it fast. Fuck you. Yeah, I just knocked his ass over. Okay, let me just try to come across here. Two. Three, four, five. Okay. Fuck you. Okay, this is trying to move on forward and try not to die a lot. I wonder if I'm gonna succeed this time in this part. Because, like, I died multiple times in this little bonus area. It gets a little tricky. Alright, what I'm gonna do is slide over across here. Bounce on this crate. It's the same as the previous Crash Bandicoot game. 
This also create a buff for me if you want to uh, know for yourself. And then later on, spin it to this. We also have these two boxes. Come across here. I believe if you land on the um the uh, the platform itself the second time on the uh, beginning of it, it'll just gonna take you back. So I wouldn't be trying that out. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh fuck! How can I hate doing this? I just keep dying on that spot. Okay, we're done. We're good. That's what I want to do from now on. Because every time I uh, destroy that TNT crate like that, that, that fucking metal crate is going to kill me every time I do that. Okay, there's a crate above me. So I'm going to try, try to get that one. Fuck! Are you fucking... Motherfucker! At least it's catch friendly, because those are the boss I would have cut me in half. And so blood's all over that. Actually, no. I fucking hate this. There we are. Got it. At least I got that one. Hey, buddy, what's up? Also, this also creates down below me as well, if I just notice it. At least I got that out the way. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That was my fault. I forgot all about that. Okay. Come across here. Okay, I need to come across this spot. I gotta be very careful. Ooh, gotta watch out for that too. Oof. Wait for it. Alright, good, good. We're actually doing better than the last time I did it. Okay, I got the gem for that one. I'm doing better. That's actually a good sign. You don't say. At least I'm dressed for the occasion. If you want to do this, let's do a little slide jump and just reach over that little spot over there. Because otherwise, if I keep oh, going to that little spot here, try to, try to face in and out, then it's going to get me killed. And that's to be it. Damn it! There are some few boxes I just missed, so I ain't going to worry about too much. I'm just going to keep moving forward. God damn, Coco, you look like a fucking beast over there. Alright, let's just get the hell out of here. I believe he's supposed to be 80s crash and shit. It's actually a pretty cool design there. Okay, dimensional map. And then as for the flashback tape, I never even done this before. Flashback tapes unlocked. Oh, we rewind time back to the 90s and play flashback on tapes to experience crash and Coco's training in Neo Cortex on test chamber. I never even tried that before. Let's try it. Oh, what the fuck? Is this like the one for like Stormy Ascend shit? Oh, fuck. Well, let's see what happens. Let's do it. I never even tried this one before. Subject on number 218. There's also like a different uh, platforms like that for a flashback tape that uh, you can go down to the first um, rift area that you've gone to before. One. 
So basically, I'm being filmed um, as we go forward. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, this. It has the music from the uh, previous Crash Bandicoot game. That's actually pretty cool. It's a good thing I know my bouncing on the crate zone for a habit. This is my first time doing this one, to be honest. <laughs> Fuck! It doesn't cost me my extra lives and shit. It's just like uh, earn some uh, completion. It's like doing a bonus stage entirely. I gotta figure out um, how to get to one place to another. I just gotta keep holding down the jump button, that's pretty much it. Alright, I'm gonna get the one down the uh, lower section. Man, I shouldn't have done that! Fuck! Alright. So basically, it's just like bouncing on the craze entirely. I just try to be done with it. If I die one more time, I'll try to skip to the part where I um, died at. It's all about like puzzling all the, your route around. Wow, that was close. I was, yeah, I was like literally confused about what the flashback tape is all about, but literally, it's like. It's like experimenting what Crash Bandicoot did back then for uh, what he could accomplish and shit. So he'd been tested multiple times before he made his escape. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that again. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I, I improvised. I improvised. I just want to get the ones I want to get done with. I'm just gonna keep holding down the jump button. Okay, we're good. Now I just spend it to this. Alright, bounce on these bitches again. Oh, fuck. It's a good thing I had double jump by default. That's a good thing. I was, I'd be fucking myself over. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna get the top one first, because I ain't fucking around with the allure section like that. That's gonna get me killed. It's a good thing I've been doing this a lot in the previous Bulls game in the past, so I'm good. Cortex is surprised that he's saying, God damn, he could bounce all that shit? Is he still alive? Wow. Oh, I know what's going on here. I'm gonna bounce on these crates. Keep bouncing on them. Let's keep bouncing on them. I wonder what happens if you beat all the uh, flashback tapes and shit. Will it lead to a secret? I don't know. At least I got all of them. Well Models on test subject. I got this one. Crates broken. 18, 118, 118. At least I got a medal for that one. What about the other two medals and shit? Like, uh, does that count as well? I did it flawlessly. Uh, well, I mean, I died a few times, but I did it flawlessly this time. Okay. So I'm gonna just hit the road. And let's get on to this one. Like, this one's actually pretty cool, though. The chase secrets in this one is actually pretty unique and, uh, creative as well. It's really fun. Uh, anytime game. All, also, the places that, um, the box placement for this stage is actually a little finicky. Like, when you try to get the hidden gem, it's really finicky. You have to see for yourself when I get into it. Or, if you may have to watch some other people play it, it's fine. I just want to show you how I've experienced it. 
I'm gonna wear a dress up for the occasion. Say I'm gonna die and just be buried six feet under and shit. Fuck you. Wait. I'm not gonna be stupid this time. I just wanna go after the ones I wanna get after. Oh no, you don't. I'm not losing you this time. I'm gonna wait till you get by. Yeah, there's a reference of reason why he's saying there's a world cure of all, along with this little conversation. And then once you get into it, it's like saying, oh, that's what he meant. <laughs> like when I first saw the stage, I was like, oh, fuck me. Run. Fuck you. Nope. I really do love the stage I'll design at the stage. It's actually very creative. Here's another flashback tape right here. I'm gonna do another one afterwards. Okay. Um let's see what this platform would take me to. Oh, whoa, 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 I remember. That's one uh, leads to a natural craze, so don't hit that yet. Okay, now I hit it. Oh, fuck. Okay, gotta watch out for all that. Hit this. Bounce on them. Same goes for these two. Oof. Bounce on this. I'm gonna try to get away from that spot. I really am grateful the developers put the little all circle platform all underneath Crash and Coco and all the other characters because like if you, they hadn't done that it would have been much difficult. I'm pretty sure you could do that if you change the god uh, the setting like that, but I ain't gonna do that. Fuck that. That's gonna get me killed. I'm gonna try to play it safe. Yeah, there's nothing out there. I'm actually doing a lot better in this gameplay oh, right now. Get out of here! This part's getting a little bit finicky. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, you gotta be very careful as I leap around this area. No! Are you fucking kidding me? I misleaped. I, 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 fuck. I just basically did have my little missteps. Get back, Max, alive. I need that. I don't know how I hit that crate and this instead of the one in front of me. That makes no fucking sense, but I'll just go along with that. Ooh, this one's a little finicky. I died here multiple times. Uh, every time I kept doing this one. Again, I will load that out of fruit berserker for this part, but apparently I can't do anything about that. So I'm going to wait for this platform to come down here safely, and I'll just try to make my way up here. I don't have a PlayStation 4 because I don't have the money, but I'm going to just make my way up and just be done with it. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, fuck! Oh! I thought I was going to make it out of this gosh free. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're good. I 
Yeah, sometimes when you play a game for the first time, it's always good to take baby steps. Because otherwise, if you try to go on forward thinking you know what you're doing, then the game's got to bite you in the ass and say, oh, I'm going to kick your ass shit. It doesn't have to be multiple times without stop. Play the first time. Well, here's what I always like to do. Or you could just actually just cross and try to reach up for it. Nah, I don't think I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the slime to go out again. Okay, you're good. Yeah. This is a little finicky. What I mean by finicky is like, let me just get the gem first. Is, um. Uh. Fuck! It is possible to do that, because I did it earlier. And uh, you can actually bounce uh, and spin at the same time. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna get back to the spot where I died at. So cut. Okay, at least I got that out of the way. Fucking. Thank you, Aku Aku. Cause I don't. I want to be dealing with this on spot that's gonna keep me trapped in a, on a little location. Cause I had to die five times just to get to where I need to be. Okay, try not to jump really high. Fuck. Get this a natural crate above you. So you gotta use uh, your phaser for this part as much as possible in this one. That's it. Well, at least I got that out of the way. And I got, like, uh, plenty of gems. I mean, to worry about that shit. So I don't have no uh, fucking uh, Lonnie Lully uh, with me. Okay, at least that's taking care of the business. Well, I suck! I should have paid attention to that. I forgot all about that. Okay, let's just get across here. And not die again. Thank you. Let's move on forward. Just be done with it. So this is basically 2084, huh? I'm not looking forward to the future looking like this. I want to live in a happy future, not a, a post-apocalyptic uh, future like this. Okay. Come across. Ooh, 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 watch out for that one. Okay, we're good. Get out of here. I know that guy is innocent and all, but I don't give a fuck. Oh shit. This is what they mean by a oh, bull kill. Round crash, run! That's very creative, though. I have to admit, this is fucking cool. You don't have to worry about spinning. Just let the ball do the work. Just run. Cause I don't think your normal feet they gotta outrun that thing. So it's a good thing they had a metal ball, ball cage that had to back you up. Oh shit, just keep running. Whenever you see a platform like this, all the, like a ramp, just jump. And don't worry, that truck's gonna run over the boxes for you as well, so don't worry about a thing. Shit. Round two. Okay, just keep running. Just keep running. Just follow the crate. Just follow, I mean, just follow the crazy and the Wampa Fruit, because like, it can lead you to a ramp. Just keep running! Shit! Shit! Oh, fuck me! Keep running! Just don't get caught in all uh, mud and shit, or all water. There you are. Oof, that was a close one. Uh, I'm missing fucking six. Why am I missing a few? Break the, do that break dance. God damn it! I only died seven times. Shit. I, I only yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like if you miss a few boxes, just just keep moving forward. Okay, I'm gonna try to go back to the flashback tape again and go down to another one I found. And then afterwards, I say fuck. I just go uh, fight against engine and, and the episode there because that was like. 
that was fucking creative. I love it. That was really fun to watch. It was like, that was the fun thing I've ever witnessed. I was like, oh shit. That, that was really intense. So that was really cool, a really clever idea that the developers came up with this idea for the chase sequence. They're saying, um, you're uh, having a fucking metal ball or uh, SDR all go to a vehicle instead of just running and just steer your own direction instead of just having a vehicle for yourself. Speaking of which, this looks a little finicky. That doesn't look promising at all. The Bandicoot bipedalization was a success. Bipedal bipedalization? Oh, that. You'll brainwash him, Master. Tomato, potato. So that's how the uh, Cortex suggested him to be a uh, fucking general. Also, who the hell was that in the background? I saw that. So basically, Cortex was interested in Crash. Uh, who the fuck is that in the background? Okay, like. Basically, who the hell is that in the background? I don't know who the hell that is. I saw a giant eye. So that's that's a really cool reference out of Crash Bandicoot music if you all play the first one already. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Cause like I was like at first when I played this game, I was like asking myself, saying, why is he uh, decided to be general to Cortex Army? Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I can do this. I know I can do this. And then later on, uh, you say he survived all this a long time ago before he got this little uh, destination. I was like, oh, he got to be where he is now. Fuck! Okay. Jump on here. Come across here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Maybe I should have done that first. But it works either way. It works in my favor either way. Okay, there's nothing up here. That's good to know. Oh, that was a close one. Just do a small jump. Don't do no fucking high jump. Oh, I'm gonna be flying right into Nitro Crates. Okay, we're good. At least they made the challenge decently fair for me. Like I said, decently fair. This like literally takes place takes place in January second, uh, 1996. That's really cool. I just didn't even notice that timeline um uh, tape on that. It's pretty cool how they uh, put that reference that. I think going back to a certain timeline where in, um. What's up with Cortex? What the fuck is he doing? Uh, like, um, if this takes place at a time where uh, the game was released and shit, it could be. I mean, that's like a pretty cool reference right there. Oh man, this is gonna suck for me. Oh, this is definitely gonna uh, suck. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just get the one on the far end first. And just move on forward. Because I'm not going to be taking risks like this. Because anybody can just take the uh, upper route and just uh, ignore the lower route. I can understand that. I mean, if I was to be the average person, I would have done the same thing too. Fuck that. Nope. I'm not fucking around with that kind of shit. This is going to be a little finicky. Confound it all indeed. Shit. Too bad. Fuck! Too bad. I hit the wrong one again. I'm only in there for the last few minutes yet. It's like, it's just basically escalating uh, uh, how many times I've been at it and shit. Like, I've been at it for at least four minutes. Okay, come across here. Come across here. Nope. 
I just come across the one at, at the very end. How am I gonna get those two crates above me? That's a dick move right there. Hmm. It's like all about pure skill in this gun. Fuck. Oh god. Seriously, they're just tempting me for this one. Uh, get across there. Okay, come across here. Come across here. Let me see here. Ooh. Easy there. Easy, Armster. Just come across here. If I can't get that last one, I'm just gonna ignore it if I die one more time. I just had to uh, come up with a plan for that one. Because normally I will have a Nitro Crate detonator and shit, but that could downfall me if I did that. Because, um, let me see here. I mean, it could be a detonator up ahead. Okay, jumping a little high is bad, so that's a big no-no. I just uh, did the default jump. I didn't even press the jump at all. Okay. Yeah, I may have to ignore it for a bit and just see uh, what the fuck uh, I can do about that. Like, if I can just figure that part out, then that's fine. Because I'll just be racing my time just doing all this shit. I can't even reach over from this prey either. Okay. Okay. I didn't mean to. Okay, I'll be right back. So, Alright, I'm going to try to ignore this box for now and then try to get across this spot. Ah, I was right. There is a nitro oh, crate uh, detonator right there. So, the best thing I can do is come across here. There you are. That's how you do it. I knew this would be a detonator around here somewhere. And I was right. It's at the end of the stage. We're done, baby. Finally. It took a while for me to beat it. And I got that one too. Alright, time to get going. And then we go fight against the boss, and then it was the end of the episode there. Then the next episode, I'm going to be playing as Coco Bandicoot, because I can't let half crash all the glory. Alright, so now I'm just going to try to move on forward to this one and just play the level. Stage dive! <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this is really creative how they did the fucking flashback tape. This is really creative. I like that. It's difficult, though, but it's very creative for, uh, for you to solve a puzzle. I like the idea. Alright, all you bloodthirsty lunatics. Put your freaky little hands together for Rocket This boss fight is actually pretty creative, though. I like this one. So what you want to do is spin into him uh, three times into the uh, uh, the amplifier, and then like, get down to the uh, to the head just by spinning into it. Just try not to fall down because you could die from falling down in there, and you got a time limit too. Just stay where you are at a little middle spot, and you should just all uh, spin into him. I'm not a huge, a huge fan of death battle. I mean, death metal and shit, but it's actually pretty uh, cool to listen to. It's very creative stage though. It's a really creative boss fight. Just try to jump over these little platforms or this vaping attack, and you should be okay. Just do one regular jump and be alright. Go away, Siri! Oh, 
Okay, just keep doing all that. Damn it, Siri, you fucking distracted me. This is a really creative boss fight. I like this one. This is as far as I got into before I ended the episode last time, so I want to try to make it look legit. Because the last time I was playing it, I was getting pissed off with the game. I was like, I need to take cool off for a bit and get some rest. So it's very important to get some rest so you can cool off. Go away. Round two. And this one, you're going to need a phaser. Because you need Lonnie Lully. Lonnie Lully, you're up. Too bad I can't play it in a fucking uh, 4K and shit, because I'm not on the PlayStation 4. And don't even try to ask me for a PlayStation 5, because they're practically sold off in this time. Timeline. Because every time you try to purchase a PlayStation 5, it gets sold out. And if you try to go on eBay or uh, Amazon, or well, Amazon is practically out of order. Oops, I fucked up. And eBay, they just charge you at a high price up to $1,000 to the original price. So it's always good to not rush things, instead of just wait for a little bit. You can either slide or spin. So I'd rather choose spin because you'd be in one place to attack them. Spin it to him, you good. We got one more phase after this. The last one is actually a little tricky to get through. You'll see. You really know how to make me mad. Don't I ever! Well, we're doing hard way, alright. Shit. So what you want to do is go after the one that's spending on the platform, like, like so. And, uh, you can go the one that's well, close by to you, or uh, far further. Do it away. Oh, that was close. Just stay in your little place and be safe. Fuck you. Alright, now we got that taken care of. One more round. Just let me get to the uh, uh, farther section. It's like I'm playing uh, Frogger for this part. Just get up there as fast as you can before the timer goes out. Uh, no. <laughs> And there he goes. Boom goes Indian. My beautiful creation. And there goes the mask. Let's go, Lonnie Lolo. Call me Loli. It's gonna be hard for me to remember the name every time I uh, say it. <laughs> so I don't know how long I've been recording this, but I'm gonna try to end the episode here after all uh, this little scenario. <clears throat> so uh, Akano just flew down to this dimension rift into the uh, pirate era. So I don't know what's going to be occur to me in the future, but I'm going to end this episode here for now. So I'm going to switch as Coco and just change the skin costume for her. Um, oh, get corn energy. That is just fucking weird. This is like totally tubular, marsupius, uh, erectus. Um, that looks pretty cool. Um... I don't know. I'll just go along with this one for now. Uh, this one is the next episode. Oh, well, I'll just go with the fall for now. And if I want to go with Crash, then I'll just go with Crash. Because I earned all Platinum Flashback Relics. Well, I got all uh, two of them so far. So he'd be like a general for this one. 
So I'm gonna put him in default costume for Crash Bandicoot. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode for me playing Crash Bandicoot 4 is about time. And if you do like it, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification, and share those in the next share those who may like this content in the future. I, I apologize. And that being said, I'm Feeding Game Crash there, and the artist says, catch you on the next episode, baby. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.